holidays, we all know at times they can be extremely stressful. So what can you do to just find your focus when things get frustrated? Here now with us is Kim Newman Savino. She's the owner of Revival Room Yoga and Fitness. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. It can really, you know, the holidays are a stressful time. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm so ahead of the game this, this year, Kim, it's not even funny. Are you? I'm wrapped. I'm wow. decorated. <laughs> My cards are almost done. I'm like, this is the first time in the history of mankind, so I'm not as stressed as other people are. Good for you. But yeah. that's part of it, right? I guess is, is giving yourself time to prep. But yeah. one thing you said is we need to really, um, not only are we going to schedule maybe when we're going to wrap these gifts or do whatever, but you want us to schedule self-care. Absolutely. Self-care is going to be the number one way to help reduce stress throughout the holidays, and it's the first thing to go, right? Like, All we right. don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. don't have money. So I really do encourage people that even if it's 10 minutes, just doing something is better than nothing and that's right. gonna help to relieve our stress levels yeah we talked about that a little bit earlier on the week at great day at 9a like even like five or ten minutes of just a simple exercise yes just get, absolutely get down and do it yeah like, ten to, minutes like one set is gonna be better than nothing and it's gonna help you feel better overall exactly and even if you just I mean I guess uh, we all know music right so music can help too so I've, yes. I, I, I noticed with my daughter she'll dance around for a couple songs we could do that we could say, yes. all right, just dance around for two songs exactly I love <laughs> I mean, that it could be something simple Although Absolutely. we should say that you have um, online, right on Thanksgiving morning when the stress is happening, put right? the turkey in the <laughs> oven, you've got a hit class yep. at Revival Fitness. We can do it right on our phone if we wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah, join me. Mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Right. on Thanksgiving. How do we get into, how do we, how do, we do that? How do we get it on, go to the, the so uh, you'd go to our website okay. and then it's schedule under classes um, and it'll prompt you to do that. So. Revivalroom.com, which is another thing. If you think I can't go to a gym or I don't have enough money or whatever, you could always, you know, buying one class and doing it at home is, is a great way if you want someone to guide you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it also helps to just kind of give thanks to your body, which I think is super important on the holiday instead of looking at it as a form of like punishment or a way to burn off um, your food that you're going to indulge in. I yeah. think it's a great way to just appreciate yourself and your body. Right. You say drop the guilt surrounding food. Drop the guilt. Yeah. We have so much um, I should, I shouldn't, or this is bad or good. And I think that puts a lot of stress on us. So yeah. just enjoy yourself. Food is nostalgic, right? right. It's tradition. So just like enjoy it and when you're doing it, mindful, be mindful about it. So how would you mindfully eat compared to maybe how we're doing it? Yeah, so I think we just fill up our plates and we sit down and the meal's gone <laughs> in five minutes. So instead, just sit down and enjoy each bite. So put down your fork, actually like taste the food, you mm. know, look at the plate be around with your family and enjoy the actual moment. Being present really and, helps us. And your last tip is learn to say no. Yeah, so is I don't that know about food. Is that to <laughs> no? <laughs> it's um, it's actually to our schedules. So a lot of times, right? We just like Kara's. This is something Kara's well, I mean, trying I do, to teach me. Yeah, do, you know, we teach what we have to learn. But I, I think I'm getting better at this. Yes. I used to say yes to everything, yes. you know, and, and now I, I'm like I, I can't do it. Denise taught me this. You take a moment, and go. I'm gonna look into that, and then you can at least take a moment and go look at your calendar before you just say sure, sure, yes. sure. I love that. Yeah, say no to things. Don't be, don't be um, shy and like and try not to disappoint point people because a lot of times we end up disappointing ourselves right and then we're overloaded we're burnt out and we really aren't present during during the holidays because we're so stressed sometimes mm -hmm. we end up getting sick because we're our immune systems broken down because we've overextended ourselves I actually have a free weekend December 17th and 18th I've kept it free and I'm like I'm not doing anything I've, I've been asked to do commitments and I said no and I just said I'm sorry I need that weekend to myself good for you and you're wrapped in pet and I'm everything wrapped, ready I'm to gifted, go I'm he ready has to scheduled go. himself I, but also so we tend to we tend to over explain. We don't have to say why we can't do something. We no. say thank you so much for inviting me. I'm committed. I'm just Absolutely. Committed. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that. that saying no, thank might you. Be to your bath. Yeah. Well, thank you, Cameron. We so appreciate it. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy thank Thanksgiving. You. Yes. It's great to see you. Great for to be here. For more information, you can visit the revivalroom.com or follow Revive Yoga and Fitness on Facebook and Instagram. Maybe take a little class. Make that yeah, a gift absolutely. for yourself. You can also check out Kim's other Instagram. It's healthy underscore habits underscore coach. She puts a lot of great quick tips on there. Terrific. I love it. Love you, Kim. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you.